Hi again, everyone. It's Pat Kelly from the WC. A great evening of action coming up here in Springfield. On my right, the legendary Jesse Hernandez. No, no, also, no, no. Nothing minute, legendary. How dare you cut into my. He's about to introduce me, and you're cutting in. See, After that's what, what I. Forget it, old man. After what you did when you were here in October, I can't believe you consider yourself a professional. You worked for Vince McMahon, a professional right. organization, and you wreak havoc here. What are you even doing back here? I don't even want you in my building. Listen, what's important is allowing this man to finish up with me before you take on What's the matter with you? Always interrupt me. Go ahead, finish, Pat. Okay, finish. okay, you've got to stay around because it's all coming up tonight right here on the WC on TV. Flawless run making his way to the ring with Brian Zane. Very rough and tough individual, but however, along with Brian Zane, controversy follows him wherever he goes. Stony Flair. Well, I told you there's a. Uh, with this Stony character, Joe, you really never know what you're going to expect. Especially from Charlotte, North Carolina, and we've heard this music before. And there he is, and well, uh, probably not quite the sequined robe that uh, Ric Flair has worn to the ring for so many years, now retired from active uh, duty inside the squared circle. But uh, certainly he's got the attitude. So since Ric Flair, he's known as the Nature Boy, does this make Stony Flair the Nature Hippie? I would think so. I would say that's a good call. Obviously, McMurferson has a way of getting into his opponent's head mentally. We've seen him as a hippie, as a gentleman, as Triple Stone, and now tonight the nature hippie. So being with this, you begin to wonder how this is affecting Wallace, Kellen Wraith, let alone his manager, Brian Correct. Zane. Pat. Correct. Yeah, but Zane is having words with uh, uh, Kellen Wraith right now. Kellen uh, discussing the situation as well. And there is uh, McMoverson tonight. Uh, McMoverson Flair. What a way to open.
open things up here in Springfield at the Regional Sports Center. And I'll tell you, tremendous crowd on hand. We love to see it. Thank you for being here, and we thank you for letting us into your living room. Absolutely. And uh, as we tape this, the NFC Championship uh, football game is going on. Uh, we don't know what the score is, but uh, we know it's quite a contest uh, between the Minnesota Vikings and New Orleans Saints. And still, uh, these great wrestling fans coming out on a very rainy, cold, and dank night in Springfield at the Regional Sports Center. They enjoy professional wrestling, and especially they enjoy the West Coast Wrestling Connection. Absolutely they do. We're about ready for the first bell as referee Smiling Dave Jackson checks out the competitors. And we're underway in Springfield. A bit of a hug and embrace from Zane to Wraith. Fans not too happy about this. Oh, no. And so McMurderson <laughs> is going to hug Smiling Dave. My goodness. 